The Scott Genius has always been about adaptability and versatility. Thomas Frischneck launched this bike back in 2003, riding it to the World Marathon XC Championships, which was unheard of back then to be riding such a long travel bike in an event like that. And it really proved just what an incredibly versatile bike it was from the get-go. So for 2018, the bike has had its biggest overhaul yet. But does it still retain that all-rounder ability? Over the past 15 years, the Scott Genius has served the needs of trail riders looking for a bike that blended long travel with single track friendly handling and some great climbing traits. It's a tough balance to nail, but Scott have always managed it, constantly evolving the bike to keep it up to speed. 2018 sees the biggest leap yet for the Genius platform. So what changed? Well, it's more a question of what didn't change. Following in the steps of the Spark, the whole frame and suspension layout has been rejigged. The end result is that it's a lot lighter whilst also becoming more robust throughout. Notably, the suspension is now a proper four bar linkage with a pivot on the chainstay, which is great for suspension performance overall. What's remained the same? Well, the key to the Genius's all rounder abilities has always been in its suspension adaptability, and that hasn't changed at all. The twin lock system, which lets you reduce the rear wheel travel from 150mm to 100mm at the push of a lever, uh, or lock the suspension out entirely, is the kind of hallmark of this bike. It's an undeniably effective and simple system to use. The downside, of course, is the extra clutter and the annoyance of the cables, but at least Scott provides you with some coil plastic wrap now to help tame the noodle bowl. So what version of the bike is this? Well, the Genius now comes in both 29 and 275 formats, though it's actually the same frame with only the wheels changing. The 275 version gets 2.8 inch rubber, and the 29er runs chunky 2.6 inch tyres. This version, the 920, rolls on the big wheels and it's carbon up front and alloy out back. So where does it shine? Well, anywhere technical, really, both up or down. While the Genius is a far cry from some of the burly enduro bikes on the market, Scott have definitely shifted the bike's focus towards rowdier terrain. It's slack, and the wheelbase is quite long too, giving it good stability in the rough and at speed. Then on the climbs, it just claws up everything. The tyres have a big contact patch, and when flicked to the 100mm travel mode, the twin lock system doesn't compromise your traction like a traditional lockout would, giving you great small bump sensitivity. Are there any drawbacks? Well, we found that the fork with its grip damper can't quite match the performance of the rear suspension when the hits come big and fast. The addition of some volume spaces is recommended to help resist the thunk of a bottom out too, as the rear end seems to be more progressive than the fork overall. With those big tyres at high speeds, it is a little bit reluctant to make some quick direction changes, but of course that's the trade-off for all of the grip and confidence that the big rubber gives you. Now this bike is seriously refined, and aside from the glowing performance when the terrain gets challenging, it is that level of refinement and attention to detail that impressed us the most. Small things like the way the twin lock and dropper post levers are integrated into the grip clamp, or the way the chain guide is mounted to the suspension pivot. It's just really nicely done. Even little things like the headset spaces have unique styling to them, and in spite of all the cables, it's a very quiet bike as well. This new long travel 29 inch big tired version of the Genius is a much more capable trail bike than any Genius in the past. It's probably not a bike that you're going to take and race at the Marathon XC World Championships anymore, but there are plenty of other models in the Scott lineup if you're looking for something that's a little bit more XC focused. We love this bike, it is big on confidence, big on grip, big on fun, and it's the best Genius that we've ridden to date.